to be a big part of things this year than last year for you? Uh, it's very fun. Uh, you know, watching the guys you see that you came here with play and that you get to play with them, your class and everything, you know. I know all these new coaches that came in, you know, we had a chance to just, you know, learn a lot of new things that can carry us on to the next level, but it's been fun. How much did you feel like that star position was kind of made for you once you got a feel for what it what it? Yeah, I felt to? like that's like the most perfect position that a guy like me, safety, you know, undersized safety, slash corner, you know, a guy that can fit in the box, fit the run, and still cover. I feel like that's the perfect position for a person like a player like me. Take us to that pick six. Well, <coughs> you know, it was a. Uh, I believe third down, we was in man, man coverage. Uh, my eyes was on my man. Uh, he kind of loped off the ball and ran two yards back. And as I, I as I was trying to spike, you know, it, it, it was a screen. So as I was trying to spike the gap, uh, I ended up look, I ended up looking at the ball, and Bo Wallace ended up throwing it like right in front of the receiver to the point where I could just reach my hand out and grab it. So that's what I did, and I just tipped it up and just grabbed it and went for six. How much did you guys work on attacking those those screens last week? A lot. We had two weeks to prepare for it. I mean, all offense even do it, so we've been doing that since the spring. Obviously, I don't know how to ask this question. I'm just to say it. I mean, why didn't you play very much last year? Uh, I, I didn't really know. Uh, we, we had more experienced guys in front of me. Uh, as, I, as I was working towards trying to play. Um, they had a package for me uh, at LSU game, which was, I guess, the third game last season. Uh, pretty much that was the game I, I played. I got more snaps than any other game last season. So I don't know if I really fit the type of defense we ran last season, but I, I, I didn't really know. So. Did that make you think about leaving? No. Just talk about you talk about Playing man is something you guys have done more of. How much fun is that for you guys in, 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 the, in the secondary as a defense? You know, it's very fun. It's like one of our strengths. I mean, we, we also play zone too, but, you know, having the, the, the DBs we have, you know, the secondary, which is a strong secondary and very experienced and talented that we have, that's like one of our strengths uh, when it comes to playing man, and it's just fun. I mean, we've been doing this the whole spring, you know, and it's just it's what we do. The way that Coach Cheese and Coach Smith kind of work with you, is it kind of you, you kind of understand them better? Do they kind of get through to you better? Yeah, uh, what they talk about is very simple. You know, something that's not you know really scientific or anything like that. I mean, it's just playing old school. You know, old school football. I mean, nothing that got got you thinking or not. Just just playing. When you were working behind Justin in the spring, and he certainly was doing really, really well, and then he's hurt and you start off the season in that position. Did you ever think at this point you'd be leading the team in tackles, three interceptions, and be as good as you are? Uh, I, I was just worrying about, you know, just being prepared for whatever situation happened, you know. As a, as a backup, as being on, like, the second team, that's, like, what, you know, players should think, you know, just be prepared, you know, how much preparation you put into it that would affect, you know, the next man or whatever, you know, just trying to play the, uh, to the level that's up here, you know. I want to talk about the defensive front, getting so much pressure. What does that do for you guys back at the second? Oh, it just, you know, uh, takes the stress off of us, uh, the deep balls, and, you know, and what we have to uh, defend. I mean, you know, the front four is like, they're great, you know. We talk about another very talented group, uh, a couple of freshmen, some uh, some juniors that, that's in my class that I came with, and you know it's, it's been great. It's been fun playing with them. Human instinct to look ahead, but just how important is it not to look, look over West Carolina this week? Uh, we we don't really uh, see that team really differently. We just see them as just another team that we just got to execute. <coughs> you know, I mean, you know, some teams would just be like, that's just a stat game. But we just look at it as just another team that we should just play and just play on the football. What do you like best about playing star? Uh, it's so many things, but what I like best is just uh, that I can blitz, you know. 
like when it, like when plans start, I, I become like an edge blitzer at times when we send pressures, and that's like you know a big thing for me with, with the speed that I have. I can beat the edge guy and just you know make plays. Yeah. Kind of disappointed you weren't in on one of the sacks yesterday. You still look for first one this year. Like the only thing you haven't done yet. Yeah, I was I, I was pretty close. Uh, you know the first four games, but uh, I know that if I keep you know polishing my craft, I, I'll get a few. What was it like to see uh, Casanova back out there today? We heard he was at practice, maybe didn't do a whole lot, but what was it like to see him? Uh, it, it, you know, it was just the same thing. I mean, it, it was fun. I mean, you know, I don't really like you know to see anything as you know further than what it is right now. Well, I just meant coming off. You know, obviously you got carted off Casanova card off the field, see him return one day later. I guess yeah. it's kind of a scary moment. But. Yeah, it was, you know, but you know, you know in cash, you know, when you know a teammate that you know that's not really wrong with, you know, they probably over exaggerate, you know, the injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like, once I saw him moving, that was just a good sign of, you know, saying that, okay, he's all right, you know, he's tough enough. Uh, Coach Johnson mentioned uh, McKinnell Alexander, the guy getting reps behind you. He's in the Florida kid. How's he coming along? You know, in that same position. Uh, you know, he's coming along great. Uh, he still has to learn like the little things, you know, which you know can get his beat. But he he he's a great player. He's a very fine player. Uh, you know, same talent. You know, speed and everything. But it just has to come to like mentally. How different is is the attitude of this team? <coughs> Four and one start. I mean, how different do you guys feel as a team than you did before that first kickoff? Uh, very different. I mean, you feel like a whole new team, a whole new Auburn team, and you know we just keep going here, just keep going up. Just like Cole Miles I'm talking about. Robinson, guys generally compare themselves to NFL players all the time, especially when they get close to being draft eligible, things like that. Stars just kind of a unique position in Ellis Johnson's defense, and you're a very unique sized player for, for an NFL defense. Is there a guy who you look to at that level as a guy who you try to model your game at? In the NFL? Yeah. Well, the guy I look, to, look up to is like, you know, pro player, Ed Reed. I came out of high school playing safety, uh, but the star position is very similar to that. And I can compare myself to Ed Reed. Robinson, you, you came in, 